I don't know if we need another social media app, right? I think it's better to like try to go build tools that can help conservation than just go build another, you know, influencer network. Welcome to Disrupted. I'm David Pollard. The woolly mammoth could be about to make a comeback. After roving the grasslands of this planet for up to half a million years, it's thought to have died out around 4,000 years ago, overwhelmed by climate change, disease, genetic mutation, and ultimately perhaps hunting by humans. But Colossal Biosciences, a US startup specializing in genetic engineering and reproductive technology, wants to see it walking its habitat once again and is working to produce a mammoth calf. Its founder and CEO is Ben Lamb. Ben, how close are you to reaching that goal? When might we see a mammoth calf? We think that we are on track right now to have our first calves by late 2028. We feel very confident in that and we parallel path all of the technologies that are needed in order to do that. And so we're trying to solve different problems along the way. More than 45,000 species are threatened with extinction, according to the IUCN's Red List, around 28% of all assessed species. A massive problem that requires radical solutions, according to LAM, with cutting-edge de-extinction technology. You have to do genome engineering, right? So we're actually making small edits to the genome. We're also synthesizing big chunks of the genome and swapping it in. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, you have to innovate around things like embryology. Like, how do we actually like build stem cells and build elephant eggs to go work with? Adding snippets of mammoth DNA to an elephant genome will produce, they say, an enhanced hybrid with mammoth features like shaggy, hairy coats and an ability to withstand cold. Later, they hope, such beasts could once again rove the Arctic north, helping restore carbon sequestering grassy steppes, supporting biodiversity, slowing climate change. Along the way, the technology also helping eradicate disease, while nurturing species survival. If you look at like the definition of the world of de-extinction, it's cloning an extinct uh, species, which isn't currently possible. You cannot clone from dead cells. The cells are massively degraded. Or it's engineering a species to look like an extinct species. We think that's fundamentally broken. So the way that we define de-extinction is de-extincting the core genes that made a mammoth a mammoth. In the case of the mammoth, obviously cold tolerance, that shaggy coat that we all know and love, the dome cranium, and the curved tusk. Colossal describes its backers as thoughtful, long-term technology investors. So far, $235 million has been raised, making the company worth around $1.7 billion. But on the ethical front, there are detractors. What would you say to those who take a more fundamentalist view that you're possibly creating a rogue subspecies and that you're interfering in nature in an unnatural way? I do believe that we, you know, play God or we, you know, uh, uh, interfere in the environment every day, right? When we eradicate a species or or cut down the rainforest or pollute an ecosystem, right? And so, so I think that humanity has a moral obligation to undo the sins of the past as well as, you know, leverage our technologies to try to do good, right? I don't know if we need another social media app, right? I think it's better to like try to go build tools that can help conservation than just go build another, you know, influencer network. What it's not colossal is keen to stress is Jurassic Park, a nightmare vision of dinosaurs being brought back to life in a movie that did though bring science to life. It taught regular people around the world that weren't in the scientific community, you know, uh, what genomes are, what DNA is. There's this powerful new tool called genetic engineering, right? And so while that movie was there to entertain us, I think it did a lot to inspire science and, and get people excited about the possibility or just the knowledge that DNA and genome engineering is a thing now.